Good afternoon, America. I'm Josh Elliott. And I'm Lara Spencer, and we're tackling yet another controversial subject today. This time we're talking about 11 years old. Is it too young to wear makeup? The reason we're going toe to toe on this is that yesterday we told you about Cindy Crawford telling her 11 year old daughter Kaya that she is not allowed to wear makeup. She caught a lot of heat uh, for letting her daughter model and looking very. Um, well, very old for her age. Mm -hmm. So it got us thinking, how young is too young for cosmetics? That, that young, that's too young. Just saying, two new lines of beauty products actually geared towards tweens. Pixie Makeup sells products such as the Pixie Glow Fairy Face Palette to the Tinkerbell set. And then, and no, Serena, nope, none of this is coming home. There's Willa Doss Beauty Products, invented by 12-year-old mini mogul Willa Doss. We're very impressed. But she certainly does know her clientele. Yeah. Uh, back in my day, it was called Bonnie Bell. Did you guys ever have Bonnie Bell? So we invited two of our favorite experts to figure out when it is the right time to bust out the lip gloss for your little one. She is the star of VH1's Why Am I Still Single? And he's such a funny comedian and author of the book, I Want You to Shut the F <clears throat> Up. Yes. Please welcome Siggy Plicker and D.L. Hughley. Come on out, you two. DL. Did you deal with this? Did you deal yeah, with I young girls? I did. And, and, and they're going to do it anyway. They're going to sneak off and do it anyway. You want to have the mother do it instead of like a gang girl doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Missy, when did you become a <laughs> When did they talk about it? <laughs> you, they, they're going to do it anyway. And I think that well, sometimes we have a tendency to, to, to make things more mysterious than they really yeah. are. And then people just rush to do it. I think that Obviously, they're gonna. I mean, when I was growing up, they did it anyway. They just snuck and did yep. it. So I think they're gonna do it anyway. You just might as well have the mother do it. That's what I did. I mean, I wasn't allowed to work till seventh grade. Now we'd bring it to right. school. I don't know sneak if anybody it. else did this, and you'd put it on, put it on and then you'd, sneak it. you'd think you were mm -hmm. so smart and try to take it off. But guess what? You're not that smart. <laughs> right. like right. Right. Your moms right. know. Um, but I do think that there's a reason that you want to prevent your child from looking older. Mm -hmm. there, there is uh, that sort of image that right. comes out. And, and right. you, I'm sure, have a lot to say well, about I that. I have a 10-year-old, and she's not allowed to wear makeup, so I agree with Cindy on this one. And it's all about balancing. <laughs> I think it's very important as parents. I know a lot of parents today raise their kids. They try to be best friends with their kids. Not in my house. I'm not your best friend. I'm your mother. You came out of my body. I did not come out of yours. Oh, boy. Um, okay. No, but I say to Sophie, there will be a time for you to wear makeup. But let me tell you something. Enjoy your time. I promote being a tomboy. So on weekends, if we're going to a wedding or an event, I'll let her put on a little bit of gloss. But it's not acceptable. It's not appropriate until they get into high school, 13, when they start going to bar mitzvahs or weddings or... Um, communions, you have to let them know their limits or else they will fly with it. Isn't uh, this just a response, though, also to popular culture? I mean, we see these toddlers and tiaras kids, these poor little four-year-olds. Th mm -hmm. th there's a difference, I, I think, honestly, between a young girl who wants to accentuate, you, become, you know, start to evolve and become a young lady. But I, I, the standards are so much different. I remember where it's growing up, you just couldn't wear makeup. My daughters didn't even date till they were 16. I, could, I, I would never let them date till they were 16. But and, and it worked. It, well, got well, so far as I know, to the book of my To the next family, out. the drunken family reunion. You did what? <laughs> But it was such a different time. I remember, like, we used to, everybody had a picture of the Lord in there. So, like, making out was, you can't kiss nobody with the Lord right there. He said it. So, so it was a different time. But I thought, I think that if you, the more you want them to not do something and the more you make it, uh, you know, mysterious, right. yep. the more they're going to do it. Yep. Right. They, just, yeah. they just are. I agree. And also, like you said, the Lord was in your house. Well, my house, it's, it's constant girls are looking up to Victoria's Secret. Right. So I say, I have Siggy's Secret. I know what men want. And men, you see these women, they want the girl next door. Not in the bikini, not the bombshell, but I'm just saying, less is more. You don't want to so fill your face. It's so hard for them to understand that, though. They want you to remember when you're young, you want to be older. And when you're old, you want to be younger. younger. I mean, it's just, right. the, it's just the circle of life. And I think that's how do we sort of slow that down. Yeah, I, but... I, 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 having gone through it, it really was 
I knew that if I freaked out, they would just like, it, when they had boyfriends I didn't like or did something I didn't like, I tried not to overreact because that was a carte blanche for them to want to do it anyway. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, the more you push something, the more that they want to do it. And it's just, it's a very tough time because everybody wants to be very sexual. Right. And well, I think it's the movies, it's the, it's, it's, you know, the games. Right. You can offer up a variety of role models. I know you and I were just talking right. back, yeah. back there. Right. The, those the, phenomenal women in London. Yeah, the, the, yeah some uh, women athletes, some of them you don't, you know, that, <laughs> Have you seen those weightlifter girls, baby? Don't come home like that. <laughs> you can come home to soccer ball any day of the week. Uh, we actually have been asking you uh, how you feel about this. What do you think? 11 years old, too young to wear makeup, an overwhelming night. I want to meet the 6% who say, no. Nah, They're right here. Not too young. <laughs> right. I guess. Uh, yeah, so good. I guess we all agree, which makes tremendous television. <laughs> Up ahead, we can't wait to talk to Jenny Garth. Oh, I'm so excited. Also, we have fast fashion fixes you need to see to believe. So helpful. And we want to thank D. Allen, Siggy.